What is going on guys, this is John here obviously on YouTube and welcome to the this video uh, where I'm going to showcase the asset which I've been working on a little bit so that's kind of a package for the Unity engine uh, the Unity engine uh, of course the free version and yeah that's something I've been working on for the I don't know past couple of hours and it was actually I wanted to add this into my game but then I decided well this is actually a lot of fun and it's not quite suitable for my game but still it's quite cool um, so I will be changing that a lot and then I will add it to my game, but what this basically is, it allows you to spawn items uh, randomly, also enemies randomly, and you know, different number of items and a different number of, uh, you know, for, for each item you can set the number basically, alright, so you can set how many items of those items you want to have spawned. Now as you can see it sets an item spawn count right here, and each one of these elements corresponds to the spawnable items elements. It doesn't matter if you have more counts in here than actual items. That doesn't quite matter um, because they're not connected. And in the future, I'm going to make it, of course, that it's one entire list. I'm going to create a class for this. But right now, that's actually pretty cool. And I really like it. So what I'm going to be showcasing is how that's going to look like and how you could add this to a game. Now, I have three items right here. One is a pickup, which is actually a weapon, which I have from the asset pack, which I use, uh, from the FPS package, which I use for my game, actually. And that's a weapon pickup. And also, we have some ammo and a pickup for a knife, uh, for a katana, basically. Nice little sword. All right. And then I'll also reference the ground right here, which is also quite nice. Okay. And then you can see I have the weapon right here, which is the element 0. And element 0 has um, a spawn count of 1. So that means that this item is going to be spawned by oh, at a random position, of course, um, at just one time. And then we have 10 uh, ammo pickups and also one weapon, the katana. And then I have an enemy spawn count. Again, this is the same system. I have the zombie NPC right here, which I added. And you, as you can see, I have an enemy spawn count as well, which means that in element zero we have the zombie and we can have spawned the zombie uh, at uh, yeah 30 times uh, on this map right here. Now that's quite a small map. And that's actually going to make a full game already because it's going to be quite hard to survive in this environment. Now what I'm going to do real quick just to see how it works, I'm going to add um, something. So I'm going to add a health pickup. So I'm just going to make set the size to 4 and then you can see it duplicates the last item and I'm just gonna assign this pickup health thingy alright and now I'm gonna go to the item spawn count and I'm gonna change that to like to the element 3 and now that would just spawn one entire health pickup I'm gonna do five health pickups so you can find five health pickups which hopefully are going to keep you alive and yeah now I'm gonna show you how the game looks like now alright now, as I said, this is a feature of my game, actually. Oh, oh my god. Oh god, that's the shit out of me. And as you can see, there's 30 zombies, and that's... Oh my goodness, all spawned there. Alright. As you can see, I already have low health, and now I have to find a weapon. And, oh, let me just pause the game real quick, so I have my uh, pointer in the game. That seems to be a little bit of a bug in Unity. Alright, so uh, here you can see some ammo pickup, which I'm going to need. And oh, no, this is the health pick up. Oh, okay. These guys are coming. Ah, uh, shit. I just missed the ammo. Alright, uh, now we need to find a weapon, which is going to be quite hard because this is quite a big map and it could spawn anywhere. And by the way, I've also calculated that it, um, actually, I I've created the script so it doesn't spawn an item or an NPC outside of the map, which is quite good. So you don't have to do any of that. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to put this on the asset store or if it's going to be for free, but I think it will be for free because it's really not that hard to do. I could even do a tutorial on that if you want to. Uh, that would be just... Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. If you want me to do a tutorial on how to do this, then... No <gasps> problem. And right now I'm just going to try to find a weapon here. Um, and hopefully this is not, this is not a weapon, but I... Oh, <coughs> damn it. Yeah, well, I think I'm going to cut to when I finally find a weapon. Alright guys, so I finally found the weapon. Okay, let me pick this up. Oh, come on. No! Ah, ouch! Alright, I have three zombies. Kill them. Ouch. Maybe I can fight the katana, I don't know. 
And of course you can make this so that they um, follow you from like a greater distance, of course. That's something you can put in as well. And you can kind of experiment with this, of course, that is something that has something to do with the zombie script. <gasps> oh, we found the katana. That's awesome. Fine. All right. So now we got the katana, so now we can hopefully kill some zombies with that. I don't know. Okay. Try to stay away from them. But as you can see, you can kind of imagine how this is going to change everything. Oh, me. Got to Probably die anyways. Ouch. Of course, I have to kind of change the eye a little bit because, of course, I'm. Oh, I'm dying here. Okay, I have to get the fuck out of here. Wow, I'm terrible at this. But you can see, like, I really have a big map here, but if you put this, like, in a small building and all that, then that's, of course, the difference. Now, as you can see, you could... You did specify ground, but what you can also do, you can uh, specify different spawn systems. So you can kind of have a selected area and then spawn something within that area only. So that's quite cool. Okay, I'm going to try to get this health pickup here. So that's pretty nice, and I'm going to, of course, extend this. I'm going to post some updates, I think, for this. I mean, it's not really that big of a package. That idea just popped up when I... So, <laughs> how much fun it is to play with this. Uh, okay. Well, that's gonna not gonna end well. And yeah, well, that's quite nice. Alright, guys. Th thanks for watching this video. That was the package which I'm currently developing. Um, and also, I'm going to post an update of my game pretty soon as well. So, you guys can stay tuned for that. And other tutorials are going to be uploaded pretty soon as well. So, yeah. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. I'll play around this, with this a little bit more. I will keep you guys updated on everything I do. And hopefully, we'll make this a nice little. Oh, God. Okay, well, Katana isn't as good as it. I mean, it does work if you have, like. Get away from me. Alright, you have to have a good distance here. If you have to come too close, then you're dead. Okay. Well, I killed him. I think I finally got the hang of it. Alright guys, so, <laughs> um, thank you very much for watching this video. If you like the asset and if you want me to put it on the asset store or make it just available for download, then leave that in the comments and also like the video because it really supports me guys. And yeah, thank you for watching. See you later.